Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to give you an overview on how you can access any of your credentials and badges that you've earned through our credential program and download them so you can insert them onto your email signature or elsewhere if you would like to do so. So if you remember, Credly is the platform that technically houses all of our credentials and badges, and I use badges and credentials interchangeably talking about the same thing there if you catch me saying one thing over the other. Um, and all of the credentials are housed there. So you technically have to have an account on Credly before you can access any of the badges that you've earned. So with that being said, there's a separate video that walks you through how to create your account. It's really simple. You just use your email and you set your own password. Um, and that's where you'll get all your credentials. And anytime you earn a credential or one has been issued to you, you'll get an email from Credly that tells you that it's been awarded. So you can check it out. So once you have awarded credentials and you have your profile set up like mine on the screen, you'll see them here. And the way I got to that is if I click my profile picture, or if you haven't set a picture there, just a little circle, I'll click dashboard. And this shows all of the credentials that I have earned. If I need to change my settings, I'll go here to settings and I can update my profile so I have more information if I want. This is where my badges would be. Now, I'm gonna walk you through the steps from this screen, but you also have these options as soon as you accept a credential that's been awarded or issued to you. This is just the way to get to it if you happen to navigate out of Credly and need to go back and download those later. So if I have gotten a credential here, this is the one that I earned, I can see a description on it. This is just pretty basic information about what I did to earn this credential. But I can see the date here and whenever I want to download it, I'm actually gonna click the share button because that gives me options where I can share it to. One of those being share it as downloading it as an image file on my computer. So if I click share, I'll see the options here. This is what you would see if you just accepted the credential. It takes you automatically to this page, this page right away. So I'm here. I have some options here to connect it to my social media. But if I want to download this and add it to my email signature, I'm going to download it as a picture. All right. So I can change the dimensions here. And it's just making it so that they are not going to distort the picture in any way, shape, or form. And it's kind of keeping the dimensions of the picture without distorting them so it gets all slanted or blurry, all right? So once I have that looking the way I want, I'm going to click Download Image. And it's saving this onto my device so I can add that to my email signature, all right? So it's right here, it's saved on my downloads on my computer so I can access that by navigating through the files on my computer. So you can now upload that credential wherever you need to, but commonly what we see a lot of people do is put those on their email signature. So the next thing I'm gonna do is have you open Gmail on your device in another tab. All right, so once I have my Gmail pulled up and I'm signed in, I'll click the settings button and it's going to take me to this screen here and I'll need to stay on the general tab. And your signature is quite a bit further down the page. All right, and if you don't have a signature yet, you can create one from here. But if you wanted to add a picture to your signature, wherever you wanna put it, I'll just add this space there. I'm gonna click insert image. And the fastest way to do this is if you already have your picture still here on my download toolbar on my device, I just like to shortcut this and do click and, drive, click and drag. Otherwise, you can upload it to Google Drive and access it from there. Or what you can do is also adjust it so that you can pull it from your, your document folders in your computer. All right. So here it is. And if I need to change the size any, again, I can do small, medium, and large if I want. And that's how my signature has my credential now. All right. So what I'm going to do is click Save Changes. And what I like to do is always practice by sending an email to myself so I can see what that looks like. All right, so we click best fit, it kind of changes it there and it will shrink it just a little bit there if I need it to. All right, and if you want, you can play around with the dimensions here on Credly to change it as needed as well. All right, so those are just some options. I can tinker around with this and see if there's a different size of this that I liked best, but the smaller size just at least keeps it to a smaller frame here for the email. You can always add a link to this as well so that it takes them to your profile if you want so they can see all of your badges. 
So that is how you add a credential to your email signature. It's basically just adding a picture. Um, and you can do that with any of the badges that you have. If you have any questions, please let us know.